Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I'm back with another volume 31 of the Untold Truth in Detailing. Little little series I've got that's been, become very, very popular <laughs> on my YouTube channel. Uh, so when I'm not out there detailing and showing you guys how to do the physical work, I'm in my office trying to teach you guys how to do the business side because realistically that's where the money's made. You know, doing the work is awesome, but it's not, in, in business to make money, it's more about the business side, all the other stuff. It's, you know, it's very little about the actual job, which sounds crazy, right? Because you're in, you're in a business to do that thing and like that's, you know, that's, that's your job, right? But it's really not. If you're the owner of the business, that's not your job all the time. That's not all of what you have to do. There's far more to it than being a one-man show in business. You, you just can't rely on how good you are at doing a job, which is why I'm shooting this video. Um, now, this is probably going to be a shocker to a lot of people but and you know these videos and everything that i say it's based on my my opinion uh it's based on my experience but here's the deal guys detailing is not art it is not an art form you weren't born with this amazing creativity that allowed you to just snap your fingers and and go to town and create something we're not creating anything. We are skilled tradesmen, craftsmen, if you will, is about all that you can have. You're a craftsman. The skills that you acquire based on the time that you put in is all that you have. You're not creating a masterpiece this is detailing is not art it is a skilled it is an acquired learned trade that you gain experience in and become better at it you weren't born with this amazing creativity to create something amazing and call it art that's not i mean is is plumbing art if you hire a guy to come fix your toilet bowl and there's so there's it's leaking all over the bathroom floor and uh, you can see that there's a hose snapped. That guy coming in with his ass hanging out replacing a hose, did he just create art when he repaired your toilet bowl uh, water line? No, no, it's the same thing. We're not artists. We are skilled tradespeople. We are craftsmen. So to think that you're trying to achieve this awesome elite status because you're such an amazing artist is crazy. And then you know what's crazy about this video is I have said it in the, in the past, but the more and more I get into this, the more successful I become, the more experience that I acquire, the more skilled that I become in this trade, the more I understand it's, I wasn't born with this creativity. I didn't just go in and start doing something that I already had within me. I had to learn how to do this. Yes, some of what goes into it is the passion that you uh, you know, you develop. Again, you develop this passion. You're not born with the passion. It has to come somehow to you. Creativity is something that you're born with. And, you know, again, I, I could go and I could uh, wiki creativity or I could uh, Webster's Dictionary uh, creativity and, you know, it, it's going to say lots of different stuff. But the thing that I'm trying to come to get across is you're only as good as you work to be. There's no natural talent. I mean, some people take to it 
better or easier or faster than others, but that's just anything that you do. Um, the more interest a person has in something, the more effort that they're going to put out to try to become better at it. And so that's my point to you is that you have to earn this. To achieve more in business, you have to earn it. You have to put in the time, build the experience. Um, you know, trial and error is the best way to do things. The best way to gain experience in this trade, the skilled trade that is detailing. And you know, there are different levels of detailers. You know, I for years I felt like I needed to be this elite paint polishing guru and and whatever i have since learned that that is an awesome skill to have but it's not where the money's at period the money is not in paint polishing for those high dollar jobs the money is in the middle of those jobs it's taking those jobs when you need to and not dealing with that wholeheartedly all the time Yes, you can make good money money at it, but that's not where the money's at. That's not where the job security is at. My point is you can make decent money at only doing the paint correction, but you can make a lot more money if you focus right there in the middle, taking those high end jobs and taking everything else in between. If you're working from nine to five or nine to six or seven to 10 at night, it doesn't matter. If you're willing to go get it and take control of your own destiny, you can work from daylight to sundown or any hour in between and you can make money. But you're limited to the amount of hours you can work in a day. So why not go after the smaller dollar amount jobs and do more of those? So for example, if you charge I'll just give you a, a nice round number. $500 for a cut and polish with a sealant and it takes you, I don't know, some of these guys take 50, 60 hours to do this. Nobody's paying you $100 an hour at 60 bucks, or 60 hours. I'm sorry, I, it's very rare. You Maybe I would guess five times in the history of the planet somebody's gotten $6,000 for one detail. There are people that do it. I, in my opinion, uh, for someone to pay that amount of money, uh, they it, it's just silly. Um, but that's just my opinion. But my point is, detailing is not art. It is not an art form. Let's do this real quick, uh, just because I'm on to it. Um, I'm gonna just Google art and let's see uh, what comes up as de the definition. So art, definition, I'll read it to you. The expression or application of human creative skill and imagination, typically in a visual form, such as painting or sculpture, producing works to be appreciated primarily for their beauty or emotional power. Now, it also says the various branches of creative, creative activities such as painting, music, literature, and dance. Um, some could perceive what ends up happening after a detail is done. You have produced a emotion that is appreciated from the customer. Um, I personally don't like to think of it as art. I don't feel like it's art. You're not taking creativity, you're taking a process that is acquired, not a process that was natural and applying that. And so, yes, dance is acquired, yes, um, sculpt sculpting is acquired, painting is acquired to get better, but it's something that it was already in them when they were born. Like you, you have to have a knack for it. And I feel like detailing is far more of a skilled trade than it is an art form. And so that's kind of where I'm at is, I don't really like the mindset that most of you guys have. And not that it matters to me because my mindset could be exactly where it's at and I can continue making a bunch of money at it, but at the same time, I can only produce a certain amount of cars in a day. 
regardless of my skill level or uh, whatever my artistic creative level was, uh, uh, if you were referring it as art, um, you're only you're limited to what you can produce in a day. And um, my point is, I don't feel like it's as it has as much creative involvement as some would suggest. That's all I'm saying. And so what you need to do is not look at it as art. It's important that you not look at it as art if you're looking to make money. If you are a person that is really interested in doing all that you can to get that best end result, and let me tell you, that end result, the best end, res end result, is not appreciated to nearly the amount of effort you put in to achieve it in any way, shape, or, or form. Uh, now again, I'm not saying don't do it, because if you're getting paid for it, it makes sense. But most of the time, people that put the artistic effort into it, they're not getting paid for it. And so, if you change your mindset, you'll be better off. If you change your mindset to not be looking to achieve the end all be all of greatness in each individual job, you can cater to the customer more and make them happier and then move on to the next one where that money will come in. So I'm money minded, if that makes sense to you. I'm business minded. I am a skilled craftsman, if you will, not an artist. I used to feel like detailing was artistry, but the more I think about it and the farther I get in this industry, the more I know it is a skilled trade. It is an experience-based skilled trade, and we are all craftsmen, but the level of that is only, it, it only matters if you're getting paid for it. Um, some people aspire to be the guy who details cars for shows. Some people aren't motivated by money, but that's silly to me because that's how we live. That's, you know, how you enjoy yourself. That's how, um, it's just, that's the way of the world and, and that's cool. But for me, I, choose, I prefer, uh, I elect to not see detailing as art. I feel like it's a trade, it's a skilled trade that you acquire with experience. So um, that's my opinion on that and I hope you guys understand what I'm getting at. Um, but the purpose of the video is detailing is not art. I'm sorry, it's just not a creative expression. Um, especially to me. So uh, for whatever that matters, 813-846-4406. If you got questions for me, use the number. Uh, have a wonderful day.